Good evening once again, not guilty. That is the plea from a Niagara Falls man who was accused of chaining a woman in a basement and raping her. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley is learning more about the suspect's past following his arraignment today in court. So he was advised of the charges. We uh, entered a plea of not guilty. Michael Siskowick, age 25, has now been charged in Niagara Falls City Court with kidnapping, rape, burglary, assault, and menacing. This should be a wake-up call to our lawmakers that we can't continue to ignore the mental health crisis in our communities. After the arraignment, defense attorney Dominic Saracino said his client had a long history of dealing with paranoid schizophrenia. He's been in and out of treatment since he was a child. The attorney felt the mental health system had failed Siskowick. We're able to get a really bad guy off the street. Investigators say the Niagara Falls man is responsible for two days of intense police operations on Monroe Avenue, events that started at 1 a.m. Sunday morning when Siskowick went to the home of a woman who he cut grass and shoveled snow for. The attack happened as soon as she opened the door. Police say the victim tried to fight back. The broken glass from her door, she wanted to make sure that I knew that that was from his head and that, you know, she did that. But Siskowick dragged the woman to his basement. Chain around her ankles, chain padlocked. Uh, she had some tape around her wrists, uh, looked like she had some socks taped into her mouth. After finding a bloody trail that resulted in a long standoff, police were able to free the woman. But the house was so cluttered that police feared Siskowick might still be inside. U.S. Marshals later helped find Siskowick hiding in a field. Very soft-spoken, very quiet. He wasn't loud and obnoxious. He didn't have parties or anything. When the victim in this case was first reported missing, family and neighbors reviewed home security recordings looking for clues, while Siskowick acted like nothing was wrong. That morning, he was outside cutting the grass up and down the neighborhood while she was in the house. His defense attorney confirmed that Siskowick had children, but neighbors say the mother moved out after a domestic incident with Siskowick. Michael Siskowick will remain behind bars as the criminal case is now being handed up to a higher court in Niagara County, where the issue of bail will also be taken up. In Niagara Falls, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News. Also happening.